In this video, we're going to be using Python's total module to code ourselves the flag of Romania. As you can see, there's nothing too difficult about it. It's just three rectangles, a blue one, a yellow one, and a red one. So let's get started today by heading over to our Python editor. In my case, I'm using Mu. And we'll get started by typing in the usual first line of code that says from turtle import star. Zoom in a bit here. That's just say, that is just saying um, we're going to import all the functions from the turtle module. Now the first function is setting the speed to zero, so we're going to be drawing our flag to that at the quickest speed possible. And the next function we're calling is the setup function, which we will use the call, uh, sorry the dimensions of 800 pixels width and 500 pixels in height. Once we've got those set, we're going to move to our starting position. So we'll lift our pen up off the page and we're going to go to the coordinates minus 400 and 250. So at the top left corner of the page. Uh, once we are there, we're going to put our pen down on the page ready for drawing. So we're going to start with the blue color first. Obviously, that's the first rectangle you can see in the flag there on the left. So put in a comment that says blue. We're going to set our color today to dark blue. So slightly different shade of blue to the um, generic blue that Python has on offer. And once we've got that dark blue color set, we can turn our fill on by calling up the begin fill function. So that just means the shape we're about to draw will be filled in with the color dark blue. And the shape we're drawing is a rectangle, obviously. So let's go forward. So going across the page, 267 pixels. So that's a third of the way across. And then we're going to turn right at 90 degrees. And then we're going to go forward 500 pixels. So we're going straight down the page now. Once we're at the bottom of the page, we're going to chuck another right turn at 90 degrees and just go back across the page, 267 pixels. And from there, you can just end the fill as Python will color in the rest of the rectangle for you. So if you save that, we'll just call this one Romanian flag and give it a run you can see you've got the first part of the flag drawn so that blue rectangle that's looking good okay so let's get going with the next one which is the yellow rectangle okay so I'm just going to make a bit of room down the bottom here and I'm going to put in a comment that says yellow now the first thing we need to do is we need to get our turtle facing the right way so we need to do a right hand turn at 180 degrees we're then going to move forward 267 pixels okay that gets into the starting position where we want our yellow rectangle drawn so once we're there we're going to change our color to yellow and we're going to turn our fill back on so this next shape we're going to draw is going to be filled in with the color yellow now we're going to need to turn left 90 degrees first of all and then go forward 500 pixels then going to turn right 90 degrees and go forward 267 pixels then going to turn right 90 degrees again and go forward 500 pixels again that should be enough to draw our yellow rectangle so there's our code there for the yellow section of the flag Make sure you're testing as you go, so save it up, give it a run. And you can see we've now got our blue and yellow sections in on the flag. So that leaves us with just the final section, which is red. Okay, stop that code and we'll put in a comment that says red. Okay, what we need to do here is um, turn left 90 degrees to get into the starting position I want. And we're going to set our color to red. Um, we'll turn our fill on by calling out the begin fill function and we're going to move forward 267 pixels so that final section of the page is going across we'll then turn left at 90 degrees and go forward 500 so going up the page now chuck another left at 90 degrees and go forward 267 pixels that will be enough to close off the red rectangle so let's end that fill the final line, as always, is the hide turtle function being called up. That will just hide the little turtle icon that draws our flag. 
Okay, so there you have it. We should have our Romanian flag all done. So we'll save it and run it. And there you have it. We've got our blue, yellow, and red rectangles. If you find these colors a little bit too vibrant for the flag, as you can see, this is a little bit more dull. These are really vibrant. You can look up on Google all the different colors that the um, Python Turtle module has on offer, and you can go for some different shades of these colors if you would like. Alrighty, so that's what I'm going to show you in this video. That is the Romanian flag done with a bit of Python code.